Okay, I want to make a video on completing hands-on exercise for chapter two. This is the payment information tab. And um, so we have, we're doing the mortgage company stuff again. We have the date for some other things. Anyways, let's just skip right down to here. So the APR. The APR is based on the number of years right here, 15, 25, or 30. So whenever we are asked to write a function that looks something up in a table, like here's a table, right? If we're going to look something up in the table, we're probably going to use the VLOOKUP. So let me type that in there. Okay, so I type in VLOOKUP and then I open parenthesis. And that allows me to use the dialog box thing right here. It says F of X, which really I call it a little helper. So that comes up. And let me get out of the way here. So the V lookup, the lookup value is going to be the thing I'm taking to the table that I'm going to find the closest match to and then return the rate. So my lookup value is going to be this year's. And I've said earlier, it's usually in the same row, not always, but usually in the same row. And that's it. This will always just be a cell. The table array is going to be the entire table you're looking up against. Like I want to take this 25 years and find a match here. Okay, so in this case, in the first case, this loan right here, the match will match 25. And I want to return 3.625. That's in the second column. This is column one, column two. So I put a column, so I put a two there. Now, some common rules that we're going to have are the table array always gets a dollar sign. Okay. So I only need them in front of the four and the six because I'm going to copy down. If I was going to copy across, I may want them in front of the letters. Okay. It wouldn't hurt to put them in front of the letters in this situation. And that's it. Okay. So it went, it looked up the 20, took the 25 found the match here, but returned the second column. Now I'm going to copy down, which I can do because I have my dollar signs there. My monthly payment, if ever asked to do pay, payment, use the PMT function. Use the PMT function if asked to do payment, which I will do on the exam. Okay, so my rate is going to be this cell here, but it's a monthly payment, so they actually want the monthly rate. So you take the annual rate and divide it by the number of payments per year over here. Because in theory, you could take out a loan out. There's two payments or four payments a year. We almost always take out loans that there's 12 payments a year. Okay, so that's the monthly rate. And there's a little hint right here. It says the same thing. N per, that's the number of payments we would make if we see the loan out to the end. So I'm going to have this loan for 25 years and I'm going to every year I'm going to make 12 payments. So it's F9 times B5. Right? So I'm going to make three believe it or not make 300 payments if you have a 25 year home loan. The present value is how much in debt you are. So put a minus sign there or how much you're borrowing. Put a minus sign there, and I want to finance this value right here. And then for this one, that's all there is to it. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK without the dollar signs and show you what I mean about the dollar signs. I'm going to copy it down. And notice I get weird error. So if I click on here, and, I, and then I click in the address bar, notice you're probably wondering, why on earth am I looking at this cell here, right? And that's the problem. Okay, so let's fix this. I need my dollar signs. Okay, oops, I'll leave that right there. So I am looking at this 12. I need to hold that 12 still. That's in B5. So where there's a B5, I need to hold that still. And I think, no, that's about it, right? Anywhere outside of this row. Yeah, other than that, I'm looking here, and I do want that to change here, and I do want that to change here, and I do want that to change. I just needed to hold this 12 still. So put a dollar sign between the B and the 5. B5, cell B5. Now when I copy down, 
you see it makes sense. Why are the hashtags? That's the easiest thing to fix. That just means that the column is too narrow. Okay, something is still wrong here. Okay, why is it looking? See how it's looking at B6? So, so that's a problem. So let's go back up and look here again. We have G9 divided by B5 times, whoops, comma, F9 times B5, and then D9. Let me look here. Notice how the green is looking at B6, okay? So let me go to the helper. B6, this is the number of payments. So I forgot that I was also holding the B, holding this 12 still up here. So there's a B5. I put the dollar sign there. I forgot to put the dollar sign here. So let me put a dollar sign there. By the way, I'm hitting F4 twice. F4 will repeatedly set through all the combinations of the dollar sign. And then I copy this down. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, I'm looking at that twice. All right, monthly PMI. The PMI is mortgage insurance. And what the bank wants is if you um, owe more than 80% of the value of your house, then they're going to ask you to pay PMI. And PMI is going to be 0.38% of um, the amount financed divided by 12 for per month. So I know that was a lot in one sentence, but let's just figure it out here. Okay, so equals. I need to pose a question. Am I... Do, or does this loan have over 20% down? So basically, I'm going to look in this column here. Anywhere where it's 20%, where it's, I'm sorry, where it's less than 20%, then I'm going to need to do PMI. Let's just make a simple if function. A simple if. If, let me get the helper out. I'm asking the question. If this, if E9 is less than the down payment uh, rate, this is also the same rate for the PMI. If that is true, if that is true, then I pay no PMI. If it's, f you know, for right now, let's just let's just put a no and a yes. Just real quickly, a no and a yes. Okay. Okay. And so right here, B7, I need a dollar sign. Actually, I got that mixed around. I have 20, I don't, I, I want to flick my, I want no here because he's over 20%. So how do I fix that? I basically am simply just put a, a yes here and a no here. Now, just so you know, we're going to change this. So I just wanted to show you that. That's a very simple if statement. If E9 is less than B7, then put a yes there. Else, put a no. So you can see, is this less than 20? No. Is this less than 20? No. Is this less than 20? Yes, they need to pay PMI. Less than 20? Yes, they need to pay PMI. No, so it's a no here. But that doesn't answer the question. So, if this is true, if it's true that they need to pay PMI, then what I want to do is take the PMI rate, I know this is complicated, times the amount financed in that whole thing divided by 12. Now, I don't need parentheses because of the order of operations will take care of it for me. If they don't need to pay PMI, then we simply just hard code a zero in there because they don't need to pay PMI. Let's see if this is right. It should be something. So this, this is the accounting format for a zero, basically. So let's see. I need to put dollar signs where the purple and the red is. 
I forgot to put it on the B6 here, so I need a dollar sign there. Okay, and then the other ones, I do not want dollar signs. Let's see if this works. It looks like it works. So these people own more than 80% of their home, but these people put 14.6, so they're, they still owe over 80% of their house, so they have to pay a monthly PMI until they get below 80. Same thing here. These people put 21 down, so if you put 21% down, you're 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 less than um you uh, you you I'm sorry, you owe you own more than I'm sorry, you owe less than 80% of the home value. Okay. So that determines the monthly PMI. Again, here's the formula for that. And that's about it. I want to show one more thing on this video and that has to do with headers and footers. Actually, why don't I stop this video now and I'll do a header footer one later.